Wow one people welcome back to my channel so this is an update about the missing teacher and student from Marcus Garvey Technical High School the teacher's name is Rochelle Williams she's 34 she has been missing from last month the student is Amanda Prince she's 14 now the police did said the student text a family member and i was saying that anyone can use her phone to send a text at that time i did not know that the police was not saying everything right all right so the police teachers relatives and um, some friends they went in search of them well they went in search of the teacher basically and uh, that search was unsuccessful i think it was about two weeks ago or so so today the police the teachers relatives and friends are now searching for the teacher and the student at a specific location i am not going to say the name of the location the police are tight lip about you know telling the public the location and the police said something that caught my attention he said he's open to find both the teacher and the student alive today at that location and i said what listen i hope it is not going into the direction that my mind is thinking so i'm not gonna say anything else about that i am go just gonna leave it right there so until i have factual update about it nesta carter one of my favorite hot leaf mix up in another anti-doping scandal um he was tested positive for a banned substance they are not saying the name of the substance this time, but he will, you know, begin his defense against the anti-doping violation next week. You don't know, say, um, Nesta Carter is retired, so some people are saying that he's retired, so how did that happen to him? Nesta Carter ran at the Jamaica Trials just this march march 2021 because he was hoping to go to the tokyo olympics so he ran in the 100 meter and he came in last either either second to last or last i don't remember at this point but um he was not qualified to go to the olympics and he retired about two months after so maybe it is sample from the Jamaican trials that you know they found positive for a banned substance this time in 2008 he ran at the Beijing Olympics the four by one meters relay along with Usain Bolt and some others I don't remember their names right now and in 2016 he was found positive for a banned substance they said a stimulant i will write the name of that stimulant on the screen yeah and i was probably in denial because i was saying how can someone run from 2008 and they found him positive for uh a banned substance in 2016 so i was saying maybe they frame him or you know all of them something because as me say one of my favorite athletes so me i go pick up him without even knowing the facts so now um he spawned positive again and i'm saying oh nesta i don't like that man i don't want your name to be in those things you are too good of an athlete. I like his personality as well. He's very calm, humbling, and all of them something. I know he doesn't have anything to do with the fact that he tested positive, but I'm just telling you why I like him. You understand? So 
I don't know how this is gonna work out for him because this time he competed in Jamaica and not at the Olympics are not overseas so I don't know what to say so instead of me speculating I'm gonna end right here just hope that everything works work out better than what I expected so to speak thanks for watching thanks for liking my videos sharing my videos and all of them good positive vibration that you have been displaying to my channel thank you what good